Welcome to College Online. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about block command. So, what is a block, and why block command is used, and where we are going to use this block command, where it will benefit us in our planning phase. The question is, what is a block? Block to define a block, we can say that block is a combination of different small objects, and uh, that helps us. to create a complicated object and that complicated objects can be moved uh, with a single click by moving it from one place to another place and also the other advantage of a block command is that for example i have developed a design using a block command and i have cloned my design in multiple sites or points so if a client asks me asks me that he want some modification in that design instead of moving towards all the different uh, locations and then modifying that same design on multiple locations uh, i will be able to modify in only that single object and after the modification and then uh, in that single block all the elements present uh, all clone types of a block will be modified according to my modification so it is very important command by the help of which we can improve our a uh, process of modification uh, after discussion with a client there are basically two types of blocks before starting our block command there are two types of command uh, block commands number one uh, dynamic block and the, the other is uh, and the other type is static block the first one is the static block and the second one is dynamic block in the static block doesn't asks us uh, to put some kind of input uh, or to give it some kind of an inputs and a dynamic block basically asks some kind of uh, information in the numbers on text in the numbers and in text format and then during the designing of a block decide where the text is going to be placed and where it it is going to be shown and the th another thing is that the shortcut for a block creation is b and after creation of a block how we are going to edit a block the shortcut of for that uh, is be and after creation of a block and editing of block now it is time to insert uh, or use this block object with a different size and scale or in a different form we can modify our block object with a different size and scale with the help of i command i command is used to insert our block object in our file so let's move towards autocad and start using it in practical manner in this plan I, i first of all i will remove this door symbol and now i will take copy of this plan room plan co enter so as a pick point i will click here now i'm going to on the ortho on mode that will restrict us to take a copy straight in zero axis or 90 degree or 180 degree or 37 270 degree i will click here now i am going to use a mirror command select objects enter specify pick point or two mirror mirroring points and enter now i'm i'm going to again take mirror copy of these four uh, room here i am again specifying two points two mirroring points and then press enter now you can clearly see i have different locations of this door symbol uh, and i want to create this door symbol uh, quickly so to create this door symbol quickly first of all you have to use uh, we have to create a block now how to create a block the steps of block is to you must have some kind of a uh, object or elements that are going to be included in our block object so i am going to develop a, a door symbol again i will type line and then c for circle i will click on this uh, point and then click on this point now i will use trim command tr enter i will perform my selection of different objects and then press enter and then click on these unwanted portions of the lines now you can clearly see i have developed my door symbol now now i uh, now i'm going to develop block of this door symbol now how to create a block i will type b enter and then a uh, dialog box will be appeared on the screen now here it is asking about name of the block i will type the name of the block for example door 1 and, and then after that you can see that in the objects properties uh you have to click on this select objects 
after clicking select objects it will ask to uh, it will ask me to select all those objects which i want to include in the block now i have selected all these objects after selection after my selection is completed i will press i will press again enter and then after uh, pressing enter uh, now i am going to specify pick point here i am going to click on this point on this button to specify pick point for my block i'll click on this and then i will select my pick point now uh, i'll click there this is my pick point and then i will press okay now you can clearly see i have created my block object so these these are the simple steps of the creating a static uh, block object in this video we have learned how to create a block object and in the next video we will start using block edit command and there we are going to learn how to edit our block object thanks for watching